What's up, everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and I am on a Silver Panther streak uh, lately. You can see behind me, I have another beautiful Silver Birch Lincoln Town car to offer you this week, folks. A beautiful 64,000 mile example. Very excited to show you this car. This is a local car, uh, kind of a something I don't get often. Uh, bought it locally from some followers of mine, um, and I'll tell you all about them right here in this video. Uh, but before I get into the video, I want to thank anybody and everybody who has bought Girl Scout cookies from my daughter. Uh, one of my last videos, I put a link there. Uh, she's selling Girl Scout cookies until the end of March, but I'll put her a little blurb at the end of this video if you're interested in any. But in the meantime, let's get into this town car video. I'm excited to show you this car. Beautiful, beautiful example. Let's get into it. And here she is, an absolutely beautiful 2005 Lincoln Town Car Signature Limited. This car is finished in a silver birch color, same as the 2010 I had just recently sold. Uh, that car had the black interior, and I don't know if it was that black interior or what, but that car was a phone call generator. Um, very unique color combination. Ended up having a local customer uh, scoop that right up from me and take that back to uh, Boston. Anyway, so here we have a 2005 in silver birch. It's got a stone gray leather interior, and this car is trimmed out just how I love it. You know me. If you've been following me long enough, you know I love the gingerbread on these cars. Uh, the gingerbread being the extra trim, uh, <sighs> consisting of rocker panel trim, wheel well trim, pillar trim, gold emblems, full vinyl top, chrome wheels, white sidewall tires. I love every bit of this car. Now this car came to me uh, by a local couple um, Anne called me up and said, hey, Anthony, uh, we love watching you on YouTube. We have a 2005 town car. We've owned this car since 2018. We've only used it and put about 3,000 miles on it. It's a second car for us, and we are looking for the garage space. Um, and we were wondering if you were interested. Of course, this car being literally like two towns away, I said, yeah, I have to come by and take a look at it. And I was very glad I did because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous example uh, of the town car that I love with all the gingerbread and trim. Um, we made a deal on this car. I brought this car back here. Um, no, you know, <laughs> no amount of love is too much love to put into a used car. And when I got this car here at my shop, I said, okay, first thing I have to do is put chrome wheels on it. It had painted alloys, which were standard for the Signature Limited. Uh, but I had a set actually off of another 05 parts car that I had. Beautiful set uh, off of a Colorado car uh, that I was able to scour. Uh, correct set of chrome wheels, so I installed those. And obviously I installed white sidewall tires. Then I started just doing one thing after another. And not because the car really needed it. Just, I don't know. I, it, this car started off just needing wheels and tires. And then it ended up turning into like... $2,000 worth of, you know, repairs across the board. We did a lot of stuff to this car. Um, and really, I don't know, I, I guess that's, I harp this a lot, but that's what, you know, differs me from, you know, the next dealer is I put a lot of love and care into these cars. Um, things that I did, aside from the wheels and tires, uh, we did front upper control arms, both front upper uh, ball joint boots were torn. They disintegrate in time with these older um, second gen. Well, I call I call these third gen, but 03 and uptown cars. Um, while we do the front uh, upper control arms to do the ball joints, we replace the whole assembly. We have to take the struts out anyways. So I said, you know what? At 64,000 miles, let's just put new struts in it. And while I'm at that, we have to disconnect and remove the sway bar link. So I did that too. 
Struts, sway bar links, not necessary, but I did it anyways. It had a very minor brake pulsation in the rear rotors. I ended up doing full wheel pads and rotors. Also did rear brake calipers. One of them was kind of dragging a little bit. I said, you know what? Again, do stuff in pairs. We did both rear calipers. Um, this car also got new rear airbags. Just starting to show a little bit of uh, dry rot, just from age, the old Firestone ones. They would have probably lasted a few more years, um, but I was already in there. You know what? Labor, we do it here. It's better for me to do it now than for my customer to have an issue down the road. So we did new rear airbags, uh, new rear parking aid module, um, had another set of keys made, replaced this grill. This is a new old stock Ford grill. The other grill was actually nice. It just had a few little just wrinkles just starting in it. And I said, this car is so pretty. Yes, I used the word pretty. Uh, this car was so pretty that it needed a fresh grill. Uh, it just, the car just is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff. Four wheel brakes, four wheel tires. Upper control arms, front struts, oh, power steering, uh, pressure sensor, um, oil change, obviously. You know, just we went through the car, front to back. So this is a beautiful running and driving 2005 Signature Limited uh, that I know the next owner is going to get a lot of enjoyment out of. It's a beautiful riding car. It's a beautiful driving car. With those improvements, I took something that was great and just made it that much greater. So... For those who say, oh, you put too much into it, this car shouldn't need all that stuff. Technically, it didn't. You know, I'm sure some of it was passable. Um, even the tires that were on it, most people would have probably passed off the tires. They were about 10 years old, starting to show a little bit of dry rot. Enough harping on that. Let me show you this car up close and personal. Uh, very, very clean. Uh, one thing you're going to notice is these exhaust tips. Love it or hate it. At first, I hated them. But to be 100% honest with you, they are growing on me. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to put them on my own car. But whoever did them did a fairly decent job. And they look nice. They're not, like, obnoxious looking. So they're just tips right on the end of the factory exhaust. There's no mufflers or anything like that. It doesn't rumble or have, you know, MagnaFlow muffers. It's all stock exhaust, just the tips there. Uh, one other cool, unique thing with these town cars, this was a period correct accessory that I wish I could still get today. Unfortunately, long discontinued, is these taillight bezels. These were added when all this other stuff was added. Um, you just can't find these anymore. So it's really cool to see that. I think that's a nice little touch. You get the gold ornamentation, all in great shape paint on this car is beautiful even the trunks around this had to have been replaced because there's no way that this could be this nice on an 05 you know you see in here real clean uh the the kind of charcoal finish on that corners on this one real nice shape the emblem is nice and vibrant usually those start to fade very very minor one crack right there or stress crack we should say uh, rear bumper again, nice shape. We did replace that rear module, so the rear parking aids works. It worked 50% of the time. Um, you know, again, it's something else that I just, I want to make them right. And that's a $350 part for something that's really not that important of, a, of an option. But again, I, I want to put value into these cars when I put them down the road. Uh, we'll go around. I well, we've already started going around to show you any kind of little flaws, but really, there's not much to talk about here. Um, paint on the car is beautiful. Glass is beautiful. Top is beautiful. It does have these two spots where you can see just a little bit of discoloration. I don't know if something stained the top at some point, but uh, those are really the only two spots on the car. The gold is in beautiful shape. One other real cool thing with this car is this stripe. It's a two-tone painted stripe, kind of like a gray, look at the spark, oh, the metallic in that. It's kind of like a dove gray with kind of a, I don't know, brown, brownish color, two-tone. But when I get up to the fender, I'll show you the real cool part. Painted stripe all the way down the sides. Chrome is nice, wheel arches, beautiful shape there. 
Travel Star, four new Travel Star white walls on proper 05 Signature Limited wheels. Has the stainless pillars. Now, all this stuff was installed before I got this car. So don't think I gingerbreaded this one up. I bought it this way. Uh, this car was dressed to impress. One little chip here that I think might have been an old touch-up. Um, it's like a little blob of paint. Uh, I was slowly starting to chip it off. I don't even know if there's really anything behind it, but I didn't want to chip it off because I don't have silver touch-up paint to touch it back up again. Door edge is a nice little bit of a mark right there on that edge. I think there was a little ding right here. You can see woo -woo, right there in that stainless trim piece. But overall, real nice. Leading edge of the top is in great shape. Windshield is beautiful in this car. It's a car light windshield. I don't know if it's a replacement because this is, there's really no pitting or anything. And this is a 64,000 mile car. You know, not a 20,000 mile car. Not that 64 is high, but I'd be expecting to see a little bit of pitting, but there is none. Uh, mirrors are in beautiful shape. Here's what I'm talking about with that pinstripe. This Lincoln insignia is also painted. Uh, it's very, it's smooth. It's, it's beautiful. I just think it's absolutely done very tastefully. Chrome fender flares. Again, chrome wheels. I put these wheels on all inside the pockets. are all in great shape. I did notice when these wheels are out in the sun, you might see, see a little bit of freckling going on in the chrome there. It's cosmetic on the surface. You can't really get it off, but getting up close, real close, you can see those little kind of like salt and pepper marks um, on the chrome, but very, very good looking wheels on this car. Come around here, front bumper, nice and clean. Chrome strips, headlights, original Ford or Lincoln headlights, cornering lamps. Again, brand new grill, and you can tell, look at that beautiful grill. Come up over the hood. Absolutely fantastic metallic in this uh, gold ornamentation. Just a little bit right on the top of where, just where the gold might wear off just a little bit, but really shows well. That's getting real nitpicky. No pitting or anything on that. Come around, do this corner when we spin it around. Front plate bracket. It's a nice shape. Just a few little marks right there. Overall, this car is a beautiful car. All right, let's spin this town car around uh, so I can show you the passenger side, and then we'll get on to the inside. And coming around to the passenger side, obviously just as beautiful as the driver's side. Now, one of the cool things with this car, well, I don't know if I'd say cool things, but one of the things with this car is what most people would have assumed by just looking at it, with all the gingerbread is, oh, that car must have started life in Florida. And in fact, it did. Uh, this, uh, I believe it was a three-owner car. Um, first two owners were Florida owners, and then it was transplanted up here um, around 60,000 miles. So, like, the last three, 4,000 miles have all been added seasonally up here in nice weather. So, really, this car spent most of its driving career in Florida at this point. I believe it was Daytona Beach area and then some other tropical Florida Beach area, um, but both uh, somewhat long-term Florida owners. Then like I said, my customers had bought this car in 2018 at 60,000 miles, serviced it locally I think I believe I actually have some repair orders uh, that I'll include with the car. But just real sharp, real, real sharp car. I mean, just the glisten, the sparkle, the shine. If you don't like the gingerbread, this isn't a car for you. If you do, well, welcome to the club. <laughs> All right, we'll go around this side, and I'll point out any minor flaws or anything like that. We'll start up on the front here because I think that's where we ended when it was flipped around. Uh, I had already mentioned that it's got a brand new grill and you can just see the beautiful luster. I mean, the reflection of the Cadillac 
emblem on the Lincoln grill. Beautiful stand-up hood ornament. Come around the front corner of the bumper here, real clean. No marks or, or scuffs in the corner. Um, but you can see a very faint little scratch right there. And I believe there was another one. Little faint little guy right there. Are we focusing? Oh, we're going crazy again. Crazy! There we go. Beautiful luster in that paint on the hood. Nice clear headlights. And that painted stripe, chrome fender flares with that Lincoln emblem. Four brand new white wall tires, chrome wheels. Beautiful windshield. You know, I wonder if this is a replacement. It's a car light windshield. How oh, I know it's a car light as well. It says right in the middle there, you can see the car light. So this is an OEM windshield, but this windshield is too nice. It's definitely not the original from when it was new. It's original, but not original, if you know what I mean. Because that's just, there's no blasting on it. And at 64,000 miles, you got to assume uh, some wear and tear on a 64,000 mile windshield. Uh, let's see here. Mira, great shape. Coming down this side. Let's see. I think there was one little ding. Very, very minor. Um, somewhere, and I will find it. Uh, where are you, little ding? Door edges show nice. La -da -da -la -la -da -da -da. Ah, right there. You can see a little ding there. Chrome rockers, I love it. Pinstripe, I love it. Top, I love it. Pillars, I love it. Gold. I love it. Love it. Love, love, love the gold. Top shows well. Got some stitching showing pretty good there. A few little spots where you can start to see a little bit of fray, but I mean in the stitching, not in like the actual top. This top is in great shape. Uh, one spot down here in the corner, right in this little nook. Come on, focus. It's a little spot that looks like it got maybe caught by the edge of the trunk. Uh, but it's kind of, it feels like it's been filled in with like an epoxy or something. Probably to stop it from getting any moisture or whatever in there. Focus, come on, focus, Anthony, focus. There we go. All right. Best of all, it's not a Cadillac. <laughs> I do love my Cadillacs, though. Okay, I already showed you this. It was also, when I got it around, I wanted to show you. Oh, there was a little... Ah, uh, yes. Right here. Ah! Right there. And right... Kind of there. Yeah, there we go. But the face of the bumper heck is going on here you know i had this little thing put on my phone to protect the camera lenses i think that's what's causing it to go haywire I'll be ripping that thing off come down the quarter here chrome wheels beautiful bumper i love it I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. Now let's take a look at the inside of this 2005 town car. All right, getting on to the inside of the 2005 Lincoln town car. Beautiful stone gray uh, leather interior. Signature Limited was pretty much the, uh, I don't know, typical town car, you will say, for 2005. Uh, you got the wood trim steering wheel, excuse me, heated front seats, uh, memory driver's seat, power adjustable foot pedals, uh, traction control, automatic headlamps, all that good stuff. 
You have your steering wheel controls, all dual heated seats, power, etc. over there as well. Very, very clean. Uh, this car is a beautiful combination. You can see there uh, the QU, that's the stone gray. Uh, birth date on this car is February of 05. Real clean inside the GMs here. All the gaskets and trim are in great shape. The Lincoln uh, insignia on the threshold. Nice and clean on the door jams. All the weather stripping and door gaskets are in great shape. Uh, come over to the door panel here. Even the door pull strap, no cracking or anything like that or abnormal wear. The wood shows really well. Pop that guy open. Wooden switch plates or plastic wooden switch plates. Uh, heated memory, power, trunk, fuel door release. Coming over to the dash here, you can see a nice leather trimmed wheel. Wood on top matches the wood throughout the car. Nice dash pad. All the instrumentation there. Carpeting is in great shape. Even in this high traffic area. A few little scratches right there, but nothing too, too crazy. Headliner and everything is in great shape. A driver's seat shows really, really well. Uh, leather is whoop, not focusing. Come on, baby. There we go. Uh, leather is nice and soft, plush, real clean. Some very minor, you know, creasing and wear. Your typical leather creasing in the seats, but real clean leather. Got the Lincoln Star embroidered on the back. Flip this guy open. You have your dual um, flipping center console. Dual flipping center console. It's your flipping center console. Close that door. When one door opens, another door closes. No, when one door closes, another door opens. Door gasket. Again, nice and clean. Inside here, very, very clean. And Florida Heritage with this car. Lincoln sill plate. Very, very nice. That stone gray leather. Pull straps. Little hideaways for the grandkids to stick their bubble gum. No grandkids in this car. Carpeting is nice. And back seat. Have a fold down uh, armrest with cup holders. Leather is in beautiful shape in this car. Not dry or you know crunchy, just real nice, real soft leather. Beautiful. All right, now let's take a look at the passenger side. All right. Passenger side, glamour. Look at how beautiful the inside of this town car is. Inside those jams, nice and clean. Lincoln, what a luxury car should be. Beautiful back seat. Seat backs. Carpeting. Again, just like the other side, real soft. Obviously a garage car, even when it was in Florida, because this leather would be kind of hmm, yucky <laughs> if it wasn't. Door pulls. Real nice. And all the gaskets, weather stripping. Dash. All that fake artificial wood is looking beautiful. Carpeting. Carpeting. 
already shown you this, but that. And then you have your cup holder right there. Big cup holder. Again, yeah, just nice, soft, supple leather. Power heated, hide away. There you have it, folks. All right, let's jump behind the wheel and uh, we'll pop the hood, pop the trunk, and give you all the details. All right, inside the 2005 town car, you can see here what I got for keys. I do have two factory sets, including the Lincoln logoed keys, and then the uh, Ford key fobs, valet key, and then also two remote start Viper um, remote starters. The original key tag is on here as well. We're gonna start this one up. She's gonna say she's low on gas, which I know. I usually hate doing videos with cars low on gas because it just makes it look like I don't put gas in my cars but um, I promise this car will have a full tank of gas uh, 64,093 miles just real clean in here real clean throughout you have your climate control but before we show you all that stuff uh, I do have all the books here um, in the leather uh, pamphlet or you know binder uh, this, I'm assuming, is the original selling dealer, Daytona Lincoln Mercury, Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, you have all the little books, and then looks like oil life monitor. I don't know what that means. There's probably the key code to the car. You even have your pre-delivery checklist here. And your radio. Uh, this is a six disc. It's not going to get any service inside here, probably. Yeah. Uh, six disc in dash sound mark climate control all that works including the all the blend door motors uh, this is the diagnostic if you're having any issues you can put it in a diagnostic mode here it goes through this cycle and then if it shows you this it means all the blend doors are working correctly everything is good to go center ashtray i already showed you that all good there. Horn, toots. Uh, let's see, heated seats, all that good stuff. Let's take a look under the hood. Coming around, real nice engine day in this car. All the plastics and everything are in great shape. All the nuts and bolts. Shows minor corrosion you know, on the block. This car spent most of its life in Florida. So I'm assuming just some maybe coastal Florida life, because you can see a little bit of, you know, on some of those nuts and bolts, a um, little bit of corrosion here. You know, but other ones are perfectly fine. Uh, somebody at some point, I don't know why, put duct tape on these rubber bumpers. Um, that I don't really understand, but I thought it was kind of it was probably done for some theory or purpose that it might stop something from squeaking or rubbing or wearing out. I don't know. Uh, but real clean under here. Under hood. Did have a little bit of a, it's hard to see, but just a little bit of a tear in the fabric there. Trunk popping time. You know, I love opening these trunks. I just think that's such a cool option for these cars. Have all four factory floor mats. Two front ones with the Lincoln Insignia. Uh, quarter mounted spare. All the gasket is in nice shape. Trunk liner. In case you throw your kids in there, they can get out. And then we're going to do a Double click to close it, pull down, works perfectly. And there you have it, folks. 2005 Lincoln Town Car Signature Limited, 64,000 mile example. Head on over to my website, specialtymotorcars.net for all the still pictures of this car. 
Um, I try to update my website at least once a week with cars once they come and go. Um, they go over to my sold page or they say sold when they are sold. Uh, so I appreciate everybody for watching up to this point. If you haven't subscribed yet already, hit that subscribe button somewhere down there. Totally appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Anything. If you watch YouTube, you know, we all ask for it. It helps our channels out. Helps us grow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I should give you the details about this town car. This 05 is going to be $15,995. Again, check me out on my website, specialtymotorcars.net. Uh, I had a lot of people call on that silver one from last week that missed it. Uh, that car sold quickly to a local customer. Uh, but fear not. I have town cars. I have many, many more town cars coming. Uh, I have a 2005 coming in or 2004 coming in from California. Black, black, 19,000 mile car. 05 out of Georgia, white, beige, or light parchment leather, 25,000 mile car, double beige, gold, whatever color, 05 Signature Limited, 24,000 mile car, 2009 sitting out, no, I'm sorry, 2011 sitting outside, 9,000 mile car. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that one yet. Might put it on Bring a Trailer, not sure. Uh, I got Grand Marquis coming in. I got a gorgeous, 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 fully dressed, gingerbreaded out 2004 LS Ultimate. One owner Palm Springs car, 49,000 miles. Anyway, so fear not. I got town cars and Panthers coming. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hit me up on uh, Instagram. I totally appreciate everybody who follows me over there, Facebook, all that good stuff. Before I let you go, I'm going to give my daughter a plug here. She is selling Girl Scout cookies. She'll come on in a minute and tell you all about her cookies. Uh, but if you are interested in cookies, I put a link in my last video and people had a hard time uh, getting to that link. So I'm going to put a link directly on my website. I'm not plugging my merch right now, uh, but I do want to plug her Girl Scout cookies. She started off in the Girl Scout troop at age six. And we walked right into cookie season. So if you have a hankering for Girl Scout cookies and you haven't got a, a you know, an ask from a local relative or Girl Scout, uh, you can go right on my daughter's Girl Scout page and buy cookies and they ship directly to your door. Unless you're local, but otherwise they ship directly to your door. Totally appreciate it. All right. Free plug from my daughter right now. Hi, my name is Noelle. I am in troop number 84210. Support, buy a cookie to support our community and my troop. My favorite cookie is the lemon zest lemon. These are my favorite, these are my dad's favorite. They're called peanut butter peens. And you can can buy your own cookie too if you if you want to buy your own cookie just subscribe it and you will see how much cookies you can buy it's only six dollars per box thank you don't forget to subscribe on the link below bye hi just forgot to mention you can buy them all across the world so now it's officially buy Bye.